She can't let fear stand in her way. She must meet them head on. And so she prepares to take each one and learn to take tutorials, to practice, to use them, to ask questions, to share experiences, anything, to learn more about the adobes. She can't let them stand in her way. So bring them on. She's ready. Let me have my hand at them. Let me try them. I can handle them. I can try flash. I can do Photoshop. That's what she told herself. I can learn these. There's a way. They're books. I can ask questions. I can figure them out. And she learned her skills. Not all, there's still some to learn, but she's got some mastered and they're not to fear anymore. She'll return to this arena for more practice and to learn more skills another day. But for now, she's got enough to start with and there's a project that needs some starting. There's a project that needs her attention. So she must get started. There's a course to be written. She's got to do it. There'll be another time to return to this arena. Till then, Practice. But for so now, things gonna make her must return to Life South for another meeting to find out more. She feels and to share ideas, now. and so she visits. Jill. She's ready to give it a try, and this time she leaves with a quest, with a task. So it's back to work. She must write a you do to. She has been charged, and her work is now set. Here is her project. Here is her thesis. The problem, retention, failure to learn, or is it? In any case, the skills are not getting there. Possible solution? Could e-learning replace some of the reading and the passing out of information? Could it make it easier? Let's try. We'll take a small piece. So it's time to return home and put a plan in motion. Lay out a scheme. Lay out a course. Plan that you do too. need to be made, paths and directions chosen, all, all with the learner in mind.
There were times along the way when things looked bleak. There were times when things weren't going right, when it felt like we were running in circles. She was getting nowhere, tripped up. At the end, dead ends. But somehow, she dug down deep inside, finding that inner strength to fight back, to get on track, despite what was going on. Finding whatever sources of encouragement and drive to continue and not give up. With time running out, she found herself nearly paralyzed with a program plagued with issues of all kinds. Was her logic flawed? Had she tried to make you do to do what it was not designed to do? Answers were not clear or swift in coming. Her only recourse was to go to the source. Go seek the assistance of you do to. She found help in Roger, the president of you do to himself. His wisdom and encouragement gave her the insight and the tools she needed to help with her program. He gave her tips. She was armed now and ready and prepared to debug the program. One by one, she sifted through her logic and core structure, tackling each problem as it appeared. Each one was met head on and dealt with, one after another, till all were cleared up and the course ran smoothly. Now it was time to test, time to get the data, get the feedback, fix those last changes. She called in her volunteers, put the project together. Now it was ready to turn in. What the future holds is still unsure. What adventures and quests lie ahead are yet to be revealed. She hopes that she will find a place in the world where she can use her newfound skills. If that place finds her somewhere in the realm of education, all the better. If she can still be creative and foster dreams and ideas and mentor and support others, she will be pleased, but for now she waits to hear the decision of the committee as to whether her quest is complete. Then she will again attempt to spread her wings and soar to places and heights unknown.